Coming up next, we get to this welterweight bout between Nate Diaz and Damian Maia. So here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps in the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. All right, get out your 209 tattoos, folks. Here he is, Nate Diaz, one of the biggest superstars in all of mixed martial arts. It's amazing to think where he could have taken his star power if he was in a regular cycle competing yes. every three months. Yes, if he fought as regularly as most guys, his star power would, would be even bigger. But Nate Diaz moves at his own pace. A phenomenal striker and a great jujitsu tacticianer. You fall into Nate Diaz's guard, you will get submitted as he's shown on a number of occasions, a fantastic fighter. Welcome back, Nate Diaz. You're not gonna out-cardio these Diaz brothers. You're not gonna out-tough Nate Diaz. And once again, he is facing top competition here tonight. We'll see how it goes for Nate Diaz here in his UFC return. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Diaz is 35. Maya is 42. He is one inch taller. Diaz will have a four inch reach advantage. And now one more time for the official introductions. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of 28 wins, 11 losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Damian Maia! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of 21 wins, 13 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California, USA, he is an Ultimate Fighter season winner, Nate Diaz! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. Ready. All right, folks, round one is underway. Good to have you with us tonight. This could be a very technical fight, and if you are someone who likes the jiu-jitsu game, this is not a fight you want. We've got a different audience tonight. Yeah. Because when this one was announced, the whole entire jiu-jitsu world took notice. They said, wow, we get to watch these two fighters compete in the UFC. It's something we've wanted for years. Just has to happen in the octagon. It did not happen in the jiu-jitsu competition, but they're more than happy tune in and watch this great fight. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches and punches. He's doing a great job. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Maya's got the tie clinch now. Watch, and there's the point. So the commitment to the takedown pays off. After several failed attempts, he finally gets his first takedown. Now let's see what he can do with it. Close guard. Oh, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. 
Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Maya gets caught with that punch. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Nice connection there by Nate Diaz. Not a guy you want to let get going here on the front DC. No, because over and over. You come up, you go down. Enough to take down lane. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Submission defense there. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten the mountain. Just go for the finish. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is the opponent is not controlling his posture. Allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, it creates this space to land these beautiful ground and combinations. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Diaz. Seconds remain in the round. Maya's going for the sub here. Oh! He might get a finish here. Work with the strikes here off of his back by Maya. Oh, excellent pressure here from top position by Diaz. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds an knockout. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes with your opponent. Side control now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Diaz. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. <laughs> Round two now, Nate Diaz and Damian Martin. Big ball for land. Now he gets back to range. Well, Nate Diaz has certainly found the range here early, DC. This is a fighter close to my heart, close to my left forearm. 209, represented well here tonight. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy, level change, leg, finish the takedown. Great job. 
Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, nice! Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. Yeah, that is high-level grappling right there as he gets the win tonight here by way of submission. And he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean just called a stop to this contest at one minute, 26 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, Demian Maia! All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. And his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight, got the submission victory.